Three, two, one, go. Hello, Nepal. We are Secret of Silence, all the way from Agartala, India. And we'll be playing in your country for the very first time. Three city tours are planned. Please buy your tickets because it's gonna be one of an extreme show out there. So yeah, all thanks to Raw and Extreme Underground Records for organizing this tour for us. So make sure you come to the pit. So cheers, Nepal. Cheers, cheers. Nepal. See you soon. See you soon. Hi, this is Prakash, and you are on Life with Prakash, and I am uh, with uh, one of the greatest band I ever seen in my life. मतलब means life life so here it is secret of silence who are going to international trips करने जा रहे हैं and so here all the band members and who will introduce who will introduce all the band members let me say okay so hello we are secret of silence all the way from Agartala and i am skull smasher the guitarist of this band and here he is hellsider the bassist and we have our vocalist here so <coughs> and he is our new recruited drummer who will be playing with us in nepal so we have three city tour in nepal so it's gonna be really a fun and like for the first time we'll be playing in nepal so an international gig so it's really gonna be an mm. awesome experience for us okay i have uh, some question for you to ask actually so okay first question is when was the uh, when was the band formed oh, the band was formed back in 2018 uh, almost in the month of june okay. so when me along with my like ex members shujoy and omode verma so we all three met and like we thought of doing something extreme Mm. Because at that time the scene of Tripura was not so much into metal. Uh, obviously, st uh, till now, still it is in commercial, and not so many bands are there in the metal scene. So, like we three guys thought of doing something, and uh, ultimately, like we started doing black thrash metal. Okay. Because we got influence from bands like Dissection, Slayer, and so many other kinds of bands, like who influenced us. to mm. compose the stuff and also to play music which we are doing today. Mm. So okay you are the oldest member Secret of yeah. Silence is like old band but with the new members. Exactly. Okay. Mm. So okay next uh, what what were the inspiration behind the choosing black metal genre? genre? Yes. Yeah, honestly like uh, there are so many subgenres of metal. and um, death black thrash so many but black metal and thrash metal these two genres really influenced us uh, like we really got influenced by this <coughs> like genres mm -hmm. uh, the ideology is behind those like like compositions the song writings the lyrics uh, related to death like your life uh, like your sufferings and all so we all are suffering in some way mm. uh, sometimes uh, we really go through bad situations so in this way like those bands really connected i mean so sure. connected to these bands you can express yourself exactly. with exactly i mean yes. that's what metal music is all about like, yeah, uh, if you sing something uh, a love song you can't do that <laughs> yes yes so yes, yes. obviously like uh, in metal music you are doing something you are like expressing your like feelings feelings, the feelings yes. which you cannot share with anyone mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so obviously the things goes like that Mm. Okay uh third question is talk about previous album and singles okay So the first album was released by the three members <laughs> that is me Sur uh, Sujay and uh, Amar Okay So uh we formed the band in 2018 and after few months as we said like we decided to play this genre Mm. black thrash uh, like mixture of black metal and also thrash metal mm -hmm. so like we just composed four songs we thought like that why wasting time we are mm -hmm. a band and we want to go in a professional way so yeah we started like composing our stuff and the main thing is like at that moment we didn't have any drummer in mm -hmm. our band so like we three guys did along with uh, the producer that is uh, Omar Omar Rupini mm -hmm. so that guy really helped us in our like recording sessions and all 
like with the composition of drums and also mixing mastering so yeah i mean like uh, <laughs> a big thanks to that guy also for mm -hmm. his like hard work and uh, definitely like sujay and uh, omar also deserves like mm. all the percentage for, of uh, like success for this album okay and uh, uh, like back in 2021 uh, after recruiting the like new member that mm. is hellsider and blasphemer that is kostab so we thought of like starting something in our own way mm -hmm. because the older members like left the band and like again we have to build everything mm -hmm. from the like beginning so uh, like we just did unpredictable beast which you can find everywhere uh, in every platform digital platforms mm -hmm. so this song actually like uh, for about this song i think costa will say something yeah so i wrote this song so i wrote this song about the creature you know okay. the most un okay. the most unpredictable creature in this okay. planet what so, it is so we humans uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's one hell of a thing you know mm -hmm. so yeah that's how i just you know uh, got the concept okay. you know how people just you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, i mean say i mean uh, that's how only i okay. just wrote about the human okay people okay i mean their characteristics and okay people will go and see in, on uh, where will we get yeah they will find in youtube in spotify oh, in, oh, in wow. every digital platform okay and yeah. there is a proper uh, script written that was been published in rolling stone india in 2020 edition i guess oh, wow, wow. edition in march edition i guess hmm. so they really featured like a small band black metal band like out of nowhere in india no actually yes, yes, yeah. like metal scene also there are very few band who really do black metal Mm. And suddenly, like from a small town, we got published and all this stuff. That is a uh, very good achievement, yeah, actually. Yeah, so and like we are having actually. fans like across the globe now. Yeah, lots mm. of places our like records are getting sold, like in USA and like yeah. in oh, Thailand, Indonesia, wow. oh. Indonesia oh. and Thailand. So it's slowly, it's starting to grow slowly, slowly. But mm. you all the support we need, that's the thing. Yeah. Okay. Because metal head, like the metal community is really small, mm -hmm. and honestly, metal music is not for everyone. Because if you are happy, you can connect with those yes. feelings. As I told, mm -hmm. it's not about mm -hmm. love song. <laughs> so obviously, like the metal community is small, and uh, like lots of them supports. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we just want this support to grow. Grow, not yes, for yes, only yes. us, but also for the whole community. Mm -hmm. Because like without the guys, without the community, we are nothing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, let's do forward. So we have a little bit less time because. Uh, हम लोग कल निकलने वाले हैं सुबह सुबह को सो ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मॉनिटरी क्राइसिस एंड ट्रेवल एज ए बैंड वाह ये सबका मतलब सबका क्वेश्चन होगा our senior पीपल लाइक हु इन कॉलेज बैक इन दोस्ट डेज वर इन्फ्लुएंस दे वेन टू बैंगलोर मुंबई एंड बिग सिटीज एंड देर वॉज अ फेस ऑफ लाइक getting change everything bollywood getting change and suddenly people more college students listen to rock and roll and metal and stuff yeah. and those were the times where iron maiden bands big bands starting to come in india like in bangalore not in like small places but bangalore and all this stuff mm. and recently there was in 2012 when we were all kids in school we saw the like cleaning like cleaning everything and they started a metal band in the heart of the city and people were like getting influenced by it but now the time has changed because mm. of the new generation and all but for like each band to survive you no know, in the market city people don't listen to your songs only in like our hometown very few mm -hmm. people dedicated fans are there who are willing to pay and see something different in unique in your life but at end of day we are still broke we try to survive like taking like gears as expensive men gears mm -hmm. are expensive and every like touring and for all the stuff we don't get enough support and mm -hmm. love from all the supporters wish we could change that and as a band everyone has this different mentality of it like how they want to put something on a table as like a song like his inspiration might be different my inspiration will be different so sometimes it collides and sometimes you know as a humans mm -hmm. we can't tolerate each other much mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But we have we have to work as a team. Yeah, no? so, 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 for next question i guess Ex extreme underground scene across the world yes i want to know that actually oh, yeah. <coughs> i only tell regarding that scene because i've been like attending concert like from my childhood only after as soon as i able to like you know tell my parents you i need to go to this concert and like mm -hmm. the first concert was like in 2015 for me it was an eye opener big band from thrash metal big four mm -hmm. mega dead was going to play in the tents so i saw them live in kolkata so it blew my mind and it constantly give me a like encouragement to go visit music festivals more and more mm -hmm. but the underground scene was completely different like uh, you don't see much promotion or something like that in the underground scene this all do it yourself kick so we don't have much money or like to like people out there who are really loyal they give their own crowd fund mm -hmm. thing and start to do and create the scene out there mm -hmm. and across the world it's always like not so much different because kids are kids at the end of the day they're gonna come and listen to your songs because they're like at the end of the day they have so much problems like growing up to this world they don't understand the world and they get frustrated mm -hmm. and there is the place where they go out there and like release their all the frustration and it's like a positive vibe like metal doing a metal doesn't mean that we're bad people yes, or something like that yeah, it's I just mean, the it perspective has been, it has been a taboo yeah, that it has people been a taboo. like uh, yeah, people are banging mm. this thing like what are they doing when you will be at the stage they, they, yeah, sometimes, sometimes say no they are worshipping like no yeah, the bad side of yes yeah, certainly you know but no. it, times has changed because like yeah. influence in 1980s were like uh, from like uh, Norway only these guys were like more much of like what to yeah, say satanic, more yeah satanic satanic, satanic, satanic in what to say like the burning of charges, charges killing of people yeah. these mm. things happen and it still remains as <coughs> like a bad PR yeah. and mm. at the end of the day we are like still something some bands have their ideology but for us you know and then we were like talking about true human sufferings like in the modern world and we're trying to bring that that what they have done to mm -hmm. nature also mm -hmm. okay, okay, okay. we have to go faster uh future ambition for the band so about the future like uh, we have been like composing songs for our next album Mm. So this is not going to be an EP, this is going to be an album, Achoo. So which will have 8 to 9 songs. And uh, the last EP which we did, we did about Satanism and all those things, like the mm. traditional black metal mm -hmm. things. Because I, as I told you, we got influenced in mm. that way. But time changes, like everything changes and also your ideologies and mindset. Mm. So as we go, uh, I mean as we went through time and go, I mean, we <coughs> We have seen that black metal is not only about satanism or killing someone. Mm -hmm. It's about spreading what actually is happening in your place. And that's why we are writing songs uh, like about our culture, about our religious perspectives mm -hmm. and the religious beliefs or practices which are happening here. Mm -hmm. And uh, like uh, so many stuffs will be there about our Tripura, our culture and mm -hmm. everything. And as our vocalist is from Assam, mm -hmm. uh, obviously you'll get some Assamese touch also in there. <laughs> Yeah, in overall, like it's, it won't be a satanic thing or any okay. other thing. It will be something like accord, uh, related to our religion, our practices, and I think we want to convey a message mm -hmm. not to the people of Tripura, to the people of Northeast, but also to the people of the whole world. Like what's happening in this part of the country? Mm -hmm. What's yeah. happening <laughs> at the place from where SOS is like mm -hmm. from? So I think that's what important is. Like we mm -hmm. are from Agartala, we are from Tripura. Mm -hmm. And I think that's how we portray our Come and listen to your songs Because they are like at the end of the day They have so much problems like growing up to this world They don't understand the world and they get frustrated mm -hmm. And there is the place where They go out there and like release their All their frustration and it's like a positive vibe Like metal doing a metal doesn't mean that We are bad people yes, or something like that yeah, It's just I mean, the it perspective has been, It has been a taboo yeah, That it has people been like uh, yeah, people yeah, banging mm -hmm. this thing like what are they doing when you will be at the, the stage, the, yeah, sometimes, sometimes say no, they are worshipping like no, yeah, the bad side of yes, yeah, yeah. you know, but no. it, times has changed because like yeah. influence in 1980s were like uh, from like uh, Norway only, these guys were like more much of like what to yeah, say, satanic, more yeah, satanic, satanic, satanic in what yeah. to say, like the burning of charges, charges killing of people, yeah. these mm. things happen and it 
still remains <coughs> is like a bad PR. Yeah. And hmm. at the end of the day, we are like still something. Some bands have their ideology, but for us, you know, at the end of the day, we are like talking about true human sufferings, like in the modern world, and we are trying to bring that that what they have done to mm-hmm. nature also. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. We have to go faster. Uh, future ambition for the band. So about the future, like uh, we have been like composing songs for our next album. Mm. So this is not gonna be an EP. This is gonna be an album. Achha. So which will have eight to nine songs. And uh, the last EP which we did, we did about Satanism and all those things, like the mm. traditional black metal mm-hmm. things. Because I, as I told, we got influenced in mm. that way. But time changes, like everything changes, and also your ideologies and mindset. Mm. So as we go, uh, I mean, as we went through time and go, I mean, we, <coughs> we have seen that black metal is not only about Satanism or killing someone. Mm-hmm. It's about spreading what actually is happening in your place. And that's why we are writing songs uh, like about our culture, about our religious perspectives, mm. and the religious beliefs or practices which are happening here. Mm. and uh, like uh, so many stuff will be there about our tripura our culture and mm. everything and as our vocalist is from assam mm. uh, obviously you'll get some assamese touch also in there <laughs> so yeah, in, overall like it's, it won't be a satanic thing or any okay. other thing it will be something like accord, uh, related to our religion our practices and i think we want to convey a message mm-hmm. not to the people of tripura to the people of northeast but also to the people of the whole world like what's happening in this part of the country? Mm. What's yeah. happening <laughs> at the place from where SOS is like mm. living from? So I think that's what important is. Like mm-hmm. we are from Agartala, we are from Tripura. Mm. And I think that's how we portray our scene mm-hmm. to the whole world. Mm-hmm. Well, so this our means, album will be like related to that only. Uh, means, uh, in India, there is a one uh, vocal for local, no? <laughs> yeah, kind of thing. No? Kind of, yeah. So, okay, uh, up, uh, re- recent show of the band. Yes. So, there's the most interesting thing, my friend. <laughs> like, uh, when we are like started playing metal, and also I think Suraj also knows that. Like, we have always seen the extreme underground scene of our mm. na- I mean, of our Northeast. Like, bands from Bangladesh, bands from Nepal are coming here and playing. Mm-hmm. So, this has been always like one of the. <laughs> But to say like energetic thing like when we will also do that mm-hmm. so like playing in nepal we have always seen like the nepali crowds are so supportive mm-hmm. so it's, it's like a basically also. exchange of information you know they are having their own so okay uh okay next question the eight number is finished i guess upcoming tour of nepal yes how you got that one yeah the contacts your contact how you so got actually like I used to share like our songs in different. So, uh, uh, talk about upcoming album. Yeah, already, shayad it's, matlab khatam ho gaya. And uh, discussed and talk about fans and friends think, thanking them for supporting small band of Tepara. Yes, you want to yes. Yeah. Overall, like, you uh, want to finish. Yeah, honestly, like uh, without fans, without the metalheads, uh, like we are nothing. Obviously, it's a small community, but their support really matters. So, really, like, hats off to all of them who have been supporting us. And, uh, like, many people have bought our marches also. March and also CDs. So, because, I mean, like, uh, these are the only way how we get revenues, like, to record new albums, to tour here and there. Because, as I told, it's all about DIY shows. Mm. So, I mean... Like that's how it goes and really like hats off and thanks a lot to all of those. I think Suraj and Costa will also tell hmm. their experience. Yeah, mm-hmm. thank you so much for like supporting Cigars of Silence all the way. And yeah, in the Nepal fans, please try to buy our merch. So we are not getting paid for the show, but at least we are getting a cognition. But still there are some small expenses that are here and there. So we need to sustain ourselves also for future upcoming more battle kicks. Mm. So check out our performance first and if you like the songs and everything, you can just buy our merch. Mm. Thank now, you. Vocalist. Thank you everyone <laughs> for the support. And this is Guddu Bhaiya. <laughs> Sorry to like in the late yeah. sessions. He's like our session drummer. He's still 18. But he's like a killer drummer out here. Yes, yes, yes. And thank you so much for like coming mm. and like for SOS like helping us out in the last moment. Yeah. Mm. And that's all. See you guys in Nepal. Thank you so much, Hill Metal.
ओके ऐसे करना है यहाँ लाइक दिस ओके मेरे नाखून ना सो मैंने ओके प्लीज कीप वाचिंग लाइफ विथ प्रकाश टू फोर सिक्स एंड सी यू इन नेपाल